it's a beautiful evening. It's nice and well, I say it's nice and clear. There's a few wispy clouds here and there. The sun's gone now. It's gone down about an hour ago. I had a massive dinner, and I just wanted to walk it off because that was too much. Spaghetti bolognese, my favourite food. Or one of them anyway. So I'm going to come and take some pictures down at the Dew Pond at Ditchton Beacon. And uh, some stars might pop out and might catch the end of some colour of the sunset. But uh, might get rained on as well. There's some big old clouds coming off the coast. We've had a mixed bag of weather the last few weeks. Sort of, well, I say a few weeks last week. It's been raining, it's been hailstones. Uh, we've had lightning and th thunder and lightning further down the coast at Bognor. It's just been a mixed bag of special weather. So I'm kind of hoping to get some of these clouds, and of course, it's nature of this night photography, so it's going to be long exposure. So some of those clouds may be a bit wispier than normal. So I'm going to put my walking boots on, as it were, and head towards the dew pond that you all know I've seen before. So I'll see you there shortly, guys. Just looking as I'm walking along, just looking at the shapes in these clouds and that one dead centre. It looks either like a squirrel or that character from the 80s, uh, uh, Basil Brush. There's some massive like, cloud formations that runs along. It's huge. I mean, that's the coast, so they're above the English Channel, and it heads towards Eastbourne, sort of way, and that way is towards Hampshire, Isle of Wight. So, it's just such a that cloud, guys. Anyway, as a brush, annoying, isn't it? Who remembers that one? Spit the dog, spit the dog. I mean, the clouds are all changing again now, and as I've walked further along. Dead centre, looks like a baby. Like there's the head and the arm. These cloud formations are awesome. Just to the left of it, looks like a bit of a chicken. There's stars out. That one is, that one's a plane. Last of the colour went over that way. Got another 10 minute walk, I suppose, in this direction. It's a bit hard to see where I'm going on the light from the sky but we'll get there well arrived at the dew pond and uh, there's this lovely blue sky it's kind of like a twilight type of sky I think it must be about eight o'clock something like that I haven't actually checked the time let me check in real quick no it's actually half past eight so it's quite a nice time you've got the orange glow of the the channel all in the parts of Brighton, Port Slade and Hove and that. And just in the distance we've got this lovely blue sky with a little bit of touch of orange on one side and we've just had a couple of bikers come flying past with their like, I've never seen lights so bright before, lit up a huge area of the ground. Um, I haven't been mountain bike riding for years. <laughs> anyway, we're at Dew Pond, the Dew Pond's really still, it's got a lovely reflection on it and uh, I've just taken the first sort of test shot and it's looking quite nice. I've been up here loads of times, but I believe that there's about a thousand, a million different compositions that can be had from here, just because it's such a lovely little location. You've got the, the originals, and you've got, I think you've got the ones that can be just done over and over again. But I always like coming up here, it's always worth coming up here, especially for the weather. I mean, the, the clouds scaring, oh, excuse me, the clouds clearing behind, up above me now. So, this is the first shot I've got for showing them there. Show you all the photos I've taken at the end of the video, but yeah, it's beautiful, it's lovely, peaceful, clear. And apart from a few sheep, I think I'm on my own, which is quite nice. Free vapes, I don't even vape, I don't even smoke. I found myself underneath a tree. I've sat under this tree before when I took uh, this photograph.
a thunder tree. But I just came up here with my good friend Kevin. And I've found myself perching on this little kind of there goes a little route that you see on. And the view that I got is amazing. Right down to the seafront, you've got uh, there's a tree just on top of the dew pond, and uh, you've got reflections of the sky. You've got the um, uh, the Rampion wind farm in the in the uh, in the sea. Everything else is black. <laughs> Everything that's light is wonderfully lit up. So I've just been sitting here for a good ten minutes while I've overexposed my uh, photographs. So gone for about six minute exposures. Six minutes. I'll show you what it's like on the uh, camera. Give me one second. And that's on the back of the camera. That's unedited, so it's, that's just raw as it goes. So I look forward to having a good process with that and getting what I can out of it. This time I'm using the uh, 35 to 70, sorry, the 30 to 75 mil uh, lens. I've got to keep looking this way when I'm supposed to be looking right there. So I'm using the 35 to 70. No, I'm not. That's wrong. 30 mil to 75. No, that's wrong as well. What is it? The 35 to 70 mil Nikon Nikon lens. It's the one that was bought for my birthday, and it's the one that's producing some really, really pin sharp. Well, I would say pin sharp um, images. And I haven't had a time, chance to test it out at night time. And tonight is the night, so it's getting these uh, debut night shots. And so far, I'm really pleased with it. That looks really, really nice. Um, I won't know until I'm editing them at some point. But so far, I'm pretty chuffed with that. It goes down to 3.3 f-stop. So that's on the lens, you've got like a hole. And that's called the aperture. A small hole equals a larger number. A bigger hole equals a smaller number. So if it was 3.3, it could be that wide open. If it was f11 or f12 or higher, it would be up smaller and so on. If that makes any sense. So the lower the number, the higher, the bigger the hole. It's all it's all very confusing at the start, but once once you get your head around it, it's actually uh, it's it's quite um it's quite easy. <laughs> Uh, what else am I jabbering on? I'm in bulb mode, so that means that I can take the photo for longer. And I've got my trusty little timer switch, which is a uh, newer NW870TX. And there's a little bit that goes on top of the camera, and that sensor infrared signal. Um, I've got ISO 100. Um, something I don't mention enough is the um, is the thing. I can't remember the name, the matrix, which is basically how much where it reads light. So it could read the light as a whole picture, or it could read a whole read a light to a small point in the middle of the screen, say, or wherever you, you know where it is. So if you're taking a landscape, you'd want to kind of take the whole picture so you can balance for it everywhere. If you're taking a picture of, say, for instance, a leaf or a flower, you could point in the colour for just that. And the rest, and so on. So with that, I've got that on its full matrix. Um, also shooting raw, as always. I'm in manual mode, and I'm at f11 on this one. And so far, I'm getting quite good results. Tried f8, and that's quite nice. As it's getting a bit more uh, stars up in the sky, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up the aperture a little bit and see if I can draw in a bit more light. Um, the longer exposures. I'll have star trails. The shorter exposures, I'll have pinpoint sharp uh, stars. So, you know, you've got to kind of mess about with ISOs. And anyway, that, I think that's another video, but um, that's where I'm going with that one. It's just nice to sit up here in the quiet. It's lovely. As you can see, that this uh, this star, I say it's a star, it's moving in the weirdest way. Well, 
I've changed the position now. The position is just around from that side. <coughs> and uh, I'm shooting straight up with some stars above there. You can't see any of this, so you're just going to have to go with it. Um, I'll show you the back of the camera now. There you go. Bit of star trail. I'll have to do some artistic licensing with that. But um, simple, straightforward shot. There's nothing fancy about this. It's just good to get out and practice. Well, that's me done for the evening. Gonna get my cold ass back home and get a nice cup of tea on. It's been a lovely evening up here. It's been lovely. Internet is part of the South Downs Way as well. Uh, South Downs Way that way, or back this way to my right this way, or that way. That way to Eastbourne, that way to Winchester. So, and I'm probably about just over, probably just over halfway, I'd imagine. But, uh, yeah, gotta get on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll check in on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.